If we add an extra column B to a matrix A, then the column space gets larger unless unless B is a combination of the previous two columns of A. In other words, unless B is in the column space of A, because then no new information has been added. Uh, so, for example, uh, let's consider, let's suppose matrix A, uh, 1, 0, 0, and 0, 1, 0. Put this here. Okay, and uh, uh, if I choose B to be uh, say zero zero five uh, then I do have a larger column space why because uh, B uh, is not in the column space of A because B uh, is not uh, a this column is not a multiple of any of the columns of a but consider this uh, what if a is the same one I wrote and now what if I choose B what if I choose my B to be uh, four zero zero. Now uh, notice what happens. Uh, B is just a multiple of the first column of A. So here the column space does not change because I could rewrite B as a linear combinations of the columns of A. Uh, I could say B equal 4 times column 1 plus uh, 0 times column 2. Uh, and therefore, this adds no new information to my column space. So in this case, column space does not change. If B is 4, 0, 0. Uh, now uh, ax equal b is solvable exactly when the common space uh, doesn't get any larger uh, this proves that um, uh, in other words uh, the uh, b uh, has to be um, uh, the column space does not change and B has to be in the column space of A uh, and so AX equal B solvable when column space does not get larger I think we've discussed all the points in this question and we provided examples that does it.